Hello, what's up, and welcome back to another video. Today, well, as you can see, Stand Upright has returned, but the title may be something different to what you would normally see when I talk about Stand Upright. Instead, it's something along the lines of Stand Upright has returned, but it does not feel the same. Something like that, I'm not sure how I'm going to title the video. Well, I'll talk about that more later on. Also, firstly, I want to clear something up. So, a lot of you guys have suggested me to play the game. Let me just show a few. Yeah, you can see a lot. But from what I've seen and what people have told me, they think that Stand Up Right Rebooted is made by the same developers as the old Stand Up Right, which is not true at all. Well, the game itself is the same, but it's made by different people, if you know what I mean. Just think of this game as an ABD copy, but a Stand Up Right version. I think that's a good way to put it. I just wanted to clear that up. So, today, we're going to be revisiting Stand Upright Rebooted. So with that said, I hope you do enjoy today's video. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and let's get into the video. Well, isn't this nostalgic? I mean, as you can see, I'm level 94. But to be honest, I barely even played the game. You may be wondering, how am I level 94 without playing the game? Well, it's actually quite simple. So if, you're, if you're like me and you don't really have much time to grind the game but you still want levels, cash, whatever or you just, if you don't want to grind in general because I'm not going to lie, grinding levels in this game is quite boring so if you, if you just don't want to grind, I got a trick for you all you need is a program called Tiny Task and the stand Hierophant screen, that's all you need firstly to actually get the program, you can either download it off Google or you can come to my Discord and then on this channel where it says auto clicker, you can come to this channel and then click on this download. It's not a scam, it's not a hack. If you, if you press download now, continue to download. And then I open it, this is what it looks like. Let me just show you what it actually does. What this does is, for example, if I press record now, record, press any buttons on my keyboard, any mouse movements, any clicks, it records everything. So now if I stop the recording and then I go and play it back, Playback is repeating everything you just recorded. Playback put it to print screen. So I set my playback button to print screen, right? So now when I press print screen, it repeats what I just did on the recording. You can see, I'm not pressing anything. It's just repeating what I just did. Uh, let me teach you now, let's get Hierophant screen. There we go, Hierophant screen, okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna come to Jotaro here. This Jotaro. You wanna go to the back. Go around like, somewhere here is fine. You press H for pilot, and then you just want to come up above the wall a little bit, so halfway, and then now you can get your tiny task. If you put the recording to print screen, every time you press print screen, it just records. That's all it does. So when I press print screen, it records, right? Press print screen, and then use this. Use the Z key for Emerald Splash, and then Jotaro is going to come to you, and then from here, you just kill him. Just keep on punching him. Just keep on doing this over and over again. Okay, once he's dead, then you can stop the recording. So now that it's recorded, the playback is on F8. Make sure to turn on continuous playback so we can keep on repeating what you've just recorded. It's now on, so now if I press F8, it's just gonna copy what you did. So now you can just go AFK overnight. See, I'm not pressing anything right now. It's the game doing it for me. So this is how I got level 94. You can do this with other NPCs as well. You just need to find a way to AFK. You can do this with Kira, with the alien guy. I'm pretty sure you can do it with any boss in the game. So that's what I did to get this level. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I first joined the game and I did the first quest, I already got bored. That's why I'm using this method. So this way, you can still grind the game without actually having to grind. I'm not sure what to do in this video. I guess I might just farm some arrows and then we'll try to get some nice stands. In this game, all you need is Hierophant's Green Requiem and you've completed the game. This stand is so overpowered for farming. Press Z. Look at that. That's a dungeon finished. I'm not gonna lie, when I first played Stand Up Right, which was like a year ago, I was still very new to JoJo games, so this game was very interesting to me. It was the first thing that got me into JoJo. But now, I mean like a year later, after playing loads and loads of JoJo games, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this old version of Stand Up Right really isn't anything special. I mean, it's still quite fun, I guess, and it's very nostalgic. But overall, gameplay-wise, it's not anything special. I mean, a year ago or like two years ago, this game is amazing. But nowadays, you have like, you have other JoJo games like AUT, YBA, Crusaders Heaven, and also some upcoming ones as well, that have like a lot of better animations, effects, the models are, are a lot better as well. 
just overall the new the games nowadays are a lot better than this i'm not sure about you guys but that's just what i think and i know some of my friends think the same as well look how op this stand is four arrows yeah i'm just gonna grind some arrows now and then i'll use them later on look at this noob what is he doing Jotaro is about to spawn so let's go kill him right good thing about this stand is i can just stand here use the pilot there it is Oh, we got a curse orb. Nice. I've been doing the dungeon for like less than 10 minutes and I've gotten this many arrows already. <laughs> we can start using the arrows. This brings back so much memories of me just grinding and grinding arrows. Let me start this. Okay, let's start using it. Right, can we get a deal of the world? Nope. Legendary deal of the world. Oh, wow. This is actually very OP. Let me just kill Johnny real quick. Alright, rest in peace, Johnny. Oh, yes. That's what I like to see. He dropped a limb. Let's go. When I get a good tusk. Bro, what was I gonna say? My brain just completely stopped working. Maybe we can get a legendary tusk from these arrows. Maybe. No problem. Now, time for Tusk Legendary. That is not Tusk. Now, deals the word Legendary. Bruh. Oh my god! Godly. Why did the love give me good traits on this stand? Why is it only this stand? If you guys get this, you need to keep it. But for me, I've already got Damon, so I don't need it. Last arrow. The world's strong. Trash. Invincible. Ooh, nice. Wait, I might keep this. Because if we get a Requiem Arrow, that would be actually pretty sick. There we go. Alright, level 100. Now we can go to the dungeon and try to get a Requiem Arrow. Two arrows. That was not worth. Oh my god. Come on, how rare is this Requiem Arrow? <sighs> oh, I give up. I'm not doing this anymore. I give up. I think I'll end it here. Revisiting this game has been very nostalgic. But like I said before, it just doesn't hit the same. It's still a game where you can just chill and vibe with your friends or even random people which is always nice but if we talk about the actual gameplay it just isn't as fun as it used to be leveling up in this game is very 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 boring which is why i showed you guys what i did the afk method because if i had to just level up myself i wouldn't have done it i'll probably get to like level five and then i'll just grind stands that's how boring this is but it has been pretty cool checking out this game again so yeah that's gonna be it thank you for watching remember to stay safe and see you guys next time goodbye